We have seen how the grammar's rule works, and now it's time to give some explanation, some kind of proof, if you like. So consider the system of equations Ax is equal to b, and consider the matrix A with entries A1 A1 and so on, um, some fixed number of columns and fixed number of rows. Consider the matrix E, which has zeros everywhere, just on the main diagonal ones. This is called the identity matrix. And it's obvious that A times E is A. And the determinant of the product, well, if the two matrices are the same, then the determinants must be the same. And the determinant of a product is equal to the product of the determinants. We denoted the determinant of A as D, and the determinant of E is obviously 1. So we have a trivial, uh, stupid result. D times 1 is D. Okay, this is still not the grammar's rule. But now, let's change the matrix E by changing one column. Say, instead of the first column, we write the unknowns, x1, x2, and, th and so on. So imagine the matrix E1 being x1, x2, and so on, and the, remain, the, remain, the, the remaining values are the same. What happens if we multiply this matrix from the left by A? Then A <coughs> This is no more identity matrix, so the result is no more A. But some entries remain the same, so some parts of the result will remain. Only the first column is changed. And the matrix A times the first column, A times X, is B. So the first column of the resulting matrix will be the right hand side, B1, B2, and so on. And the remaining is the same. Uh, the remaining is the same in the sense that uh, as if no change were here. So A times the Second column here is the second column of A. That means A12, A22, and so on. <coughs> Do you recognize this matrix? That's exactly the matrix from the Kramer's rule. We take the matrix A and we replace one column with the right hand side column. Mm -hmm. And let's apply a determinant to both sides. The determinant of this product is the determinant of uh, is the product of the determinants. Determinant of A is D. <coughs> and what is the determinant of this matrix? If we expand this along the first row, we get x1 times this plus zero times something and so on. And the determinant of this is one. So the determinant of E1 is X1. And this was denoted as D1 in the algorithm of the Kramer's rule. And if D is different from zero, we have the useful result that the first unknown X1 is the ratio of D1 divided by t. Well, and for other unknowns, the, uh, the case is very similar. <coughs> we don't replace the first column, but the second or third or any column you want with the unknowns. And then, instead of E1, we would have E2, E3, and so on. The determinant of A is still D. The determinant of E, K, will be X sub K. And this will be the DK, the determinant from the Kramer's rule. So this is the explanation that this ratio is indeed the unknown in the system of equations.